Hello everybody. So today I am going to demonstrate how rules engine uh, works. So this is a proof of concept application. This is no way perfect. I just was successfully able to create this project where it works end to end. Uh, you can create a rule and then actually evaluate the rule from a REST endpoint. So I'm going to demonstrate the pupa rules engine, which is a very basic rules engine. So let's get started. So it has two folders. This is the source folder where you have the Java code which exposes the endpoints and this is the front end code which exposes the UI. So before that, I, let me tell you guys how the rules engine works. So rules engine is something which is apart from your actual microservice or actual code. If you have a requirement where you don't want to hard code your business logic and you want a separate uh, application that can you a UI where you can manage your rules and then you you want the actual microservice to use those rules that you have defined to evaluate or do this business logic so in that scenario rules engine is helpful so let's say this is a rules engine it has a ui and it exposes some backend endpoints to evaluate those rules and rules and you have actual microservice where the actual processing happens but for some entities it wants to send it to the rules engine, evaluate some business logic, get the decision made by the rules engine and based on that decision, do some logic on the microservice and update some external system. So in this kind of scenario, a rules engine is helpful because business can directly see the UI of rules engine and create new rules or manage change existing rules on the fly and your actual logic doesn't have to change. It will automatically uh, refer to the rest endpoints of the rules engine and the business rules will be taken care of so this is the scenario where rules engine is useful so let me show you guys how it works so let me go to the front end and do npm run start this will actually start our uh, ui and let me start the back end from here so back end is already started uh, front end is also started in this URL so let's go to the UI so we already have two rules engine in our system let's create a new rule so this rule will let's say we'll call this state the rules name is gonna be state and then it ha it may have a bunch of conditions which needs to be true for this action to happen so let's say let's create a simple condition and say uh, works at forward so the field of the entity that you are passing to the rules engine would be work and if the value is forward then you want the certain action to be triggered and the action let's say would be set state to Michigan uh, so the field name will be state and the value would be Michigan save it so let's evaluate the rule once again so the condition if if the person works at Ford then the action should be set the state of that person to Michigan so this is the rule that we have created let's create the rule uh, let's see in our code the rules should be already created yeah the new rule is being created you can see in the command line so let's see how to evaluate the rule so let's go to the postman let me do a post request because our rules engine exposes the post endpoint do localhost 8080 rules evaluate world rule equals to because this is the rule name that we have given so we have to provide the which rule we want to evaluate and then the body we have to pass our entity that needs to be evaluated for this rule so earlier we said that uh, the field name works so let's see what we did works at for right so work field name is work right so let's pass a field called work and then let's pass the value of Ford. So this may be any anything like name 
Rajan works at Ford and then I want to evaluate the state of this person right so let's say I send this object so the rules engine executed the logic and it found some conditions are true so it set the state to Michigan so let's say if I change the work to GM a rules engine will run the state rules and then it w if the, all the conditions are matching then it will do the action if it if the conditions are not matching it will not do the action so let's see what happens see so there is no state the rule was not able to determine the state of this entity because there is no rule for the this field the value of this right but if you change some the work field to forward again it will again evaluate is to michigan so this is how the rules engine works